Welcome to the Icon of the Seas. This is Jason here. This is gonna be one of my longest videos. This ship is amazing. Eight neighborhoods, seven pools, nine whirlpools, many new venues. Let's take a full walkthrough ship tour. You're gonna to love it. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with a quick preview of Deck 15. This is the Overlook. Through here is the Aquadome. Then Hook. Then the Aquadome Market. Right after that is the Lime and Coconut Bar, then Royal Bay Pool, and then take a look at this. This is Thrill Island, where you find all the water slides, and then all the way at the back is Hideaway Pool. Let's start off here at Chill Island. This is an amazing new area. It spans from decks 15 to 17. Check this out. At the new Chill Island, there is a pool for every mood, each with prime ocean views. That is amazing and it's something extremely new. One of the most amazing pools here in Chill Island is the Royal Bay Pool. It is the most expansive pool at sea. It is a whopping 5,800 square feet. Around the pool, you're gonna find neat and exciting chairs that you can sit down and relax in. There are chairs that go all the way up to the edge of the pool so you can dip your toes in there. There's also nice comfortable mats throughout the area. Now there are a couple of whirlpools and one of them is the Champagne Glass. There are three other ships that I know of that have Champagne Glass whirlpools. Do you know what they are? If you do, please leave the comment down in the section. In between the Royal Bay Pool and Cantina Fresca is Central Park. If you are in the mood for a margarita, come here. They have many different specialty tequilas, so you're gonna be able to find the drink that meets your taste. Take a look at this topping bar and the hot sauces. This is part of Local Fresh. It's amazing. Grab a taco, burrito, maybe some quesadillas. Head on over to that topping bar that hot sauce bar, load it up the way you like it, and enjoy. Right in front of Loco Fresh and Cantina Fresca are these really neat chairs that I've never seen before. They have comfortable pillows and nice swings that you can relax and have a good time on. Now keep in mind that when you're walking through this area, it does span three decks. So you're gonna bump into whirlpools, infinity pools, and other places where you can sit down and relax. And you're not even gonna realize when you come upon one of them until you see it. It just automatically appears. You look to the right and all of a sudden, boom, right here is the cove pool, which overlooks the side of the ship, which has an excellent view. Take a look at this slide. It goes down from one deck to another. Now here is another thing that I want you to understand about Chill Island, is that there is an area here for everybody. Whether you like shade, sun, liquor, soft drinks, food, or just want to relax, you're gonna find a place. There are two lime and coconut bars on this deck. Remember, we're staying on deck 15 as much as we can because we are going deck by deck. As I was saying, there are plenty of food venues in this area and we're gonna check one of them out. It's one of my favorites and a favorite among all the cruisers that were on the ship. It is the Aqua Dome Market. My most favorite part about it, it's 100% included in your cruise fare. In the morning, you can come in and grab a delicious crepe. You can get Chinese food mac and cheese, Mediterranean, or a delicious sandwich. Folks, keep in mind that the icon of the seas is one of a kind. And if you like the ship, make sure you give me a call. And there is an excellent reason why we offer special savings. That's right. We're going to give you all the promotions that the cruise line is offering. But in addition, we're always going to give you some type of incentive. And it could be a discount through our group space. It could be a dining package. It could also be onboard credit. Either way, you're going to get something additional and extra. Also, you're going to be able to talk to an experienced agent. All of our agents are U.S. based and they know how to help you. Let me give you a little tip about the Aquadome market. The food here is delicious, but the portions are a little small. But as I was telling you, it's 100% complimentary. So just grab a couple of portions or you can grab a portion, enjoy it, and then go back and get some more. You can eat all you want. So let's head on all the way to the front of the ship. We're gonna take a look at the Aquadome. You've probably already heard of the Aqua Theater. This is almost the same However, it is completely enclosed. 
The aqua theaters on the Oasis class ships are at the back of the ship. They're on the boardwalk and they're completely open. Check this out. The aqua theater features four robotic arms, a half pipe, seven lifts, and projection mapping. I'm going to give you a tip. Because the show is excellent and everybody is in awe, it fills up quick. If you want to watch this show, and you want good seats, get here a half an hour early. Yes, I understand it's difficult. All the seats are gonna be empty. You're gonna be sitting here 30 minutes before the show starts, but it is well worth it. If you get here at the time the show begins, you're not gonna find a place to sit. And the show is so good, and you're gonna be in awe that you are gonna be so happy that you did. Let's take a look at Hooked. This is the specialty seafood restaurant. Not only do they have an excellent selection of seafood, but you can also get chicken or steak. If you'd like to know more about specialty and the pricing, I've placed a link down below the description of the video. Let's look at the Overlook. This is right in front of the Aqua Dome, and it is one of the coolest places on the ship if you want to relax and enjoy the views out of the front of the ship. I could imagine this ship if it were in Alaska or on a really cool Caribbean itinerary where you could just sit out here, grab an ice seat, and just spend hours looking out the front of the ship. There are a couple of bars here. There is the cafe bar, which in the daytime you can get any type of specialty coffee or an espresso martini and at night it turns into more of a bar-like setting. Let's head on into the Windjammer. This is the buffet area. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's included in your cruise fare. And for me, it's the best option to have breakfast on port days. Check it out. There are plenty of other complimentary options on board like this one, such as the main dining restaurant, which we are gonna take a look at here in a little bit. If you're not familiar with Royal Caribbean, Keep in mind that the Oasis class is the class that is closest to this one. And if you want to book any one of those ships, as I was saying before, you're going to want to give me a call. Here is the coolest part about when you call us. You are always going to save money. It is amazing and our clients love it. After they call us, they are so happy that they did. And you will be too, because everyone likes to save money, don't they? And you do too don't you? So give us a call. Now, because we offer the best rate guaranteed, even if you've already booked, you can still give us a call. We can still give you a quote. And if you want to book any of the Royal Caribbean ships and not sure which itinerary you want, take a look at the links that I've posted down below the description of the video. We have all ships and the information on all sailings posted down below. Keep in mind, to get the best rate guaranteed, you must give us a call because these are un published rate. An agent is going to help you out. They're going to look through our group space. They're going to look through our discounts and they're going to look through our promotions to make sure that you get the best rate guaranteed because we're working for you. One of the cool things about the buffet area are the views of Thrill Island and then if you look down you can see Surfside. Let's go back to Chill Island. Remember it spans three decks. This is deck 16. Right here is Swim and Tonic. Here's where the band plays. Right after that is Crown Edge, then the Rock Climbing Wall, Base Camp, the Mini Golf and Slides, and then all the way in the back, we're back at the Hideaway Pool again. Take a look at that. So we're gonna head on back to Swimming Tonic. This is a bar that you can just go right up to in the pool and order a drink. It's the only swim up pool on the ship. It also has those comfy chairs that you can put all the way up to the edge and dip your toes in. And there is a nice whirlpool. So it's really cool. Swim over, grab a drink, either chill out here or you can head on over to the whirlpool. Right here are the casitas. They are available for rent. If you want a casita, you can get it before you get on the ship. You can go ahead and reserve it. Right here is that dry slide we saw before. It goes from deck 16 down to deck 15. It's really cool. You don't have to take the stairs and it's a lot of fun to try out. Over here is the stage. This is where the live bands perform their magic or at night sometimes there will be dance parties and this is where the DJ will play. Take a look at this bar. It serves frozen drinks and they serve them quickly. 
Now, because they're pre-made, I recommend this, especially if you have a beverage package. Get an additional shot and pour it on top. Yum. An amazing attraction that you're gonna wanna do while you're on board is the crown edge. You're gonna get all strapped in, you're gonna go around, and then at the end, there is going to be a drop and you're gonna zip line right around. Check it out though. There is a surprise while you're on the crown edge, which I'm not gonna tell you about. Over here is the rock climbing wall. Folks, if you wanna do any of these things like the rock climbing wall or the flow rider, the crown edge, make sure you sign your waiver beforehand. That way you don't wait in line and they send you back. Right here is base camp. It consists of two places. There is base camp where you can get food and a bar. This is the food portion where you can get a nice sandwich or chicken nuggets. Around the corner is the milkshake bar. While I was on board, I already saw kids run into it saying, we're going to the milkshake bar. So this is definitely an excellent venue to have on board, especially if you have kids with you. Right here is the basketball court. It's a full court. They also offer other activities here as well. Make sure you check your activities guide or download the Royal Caribbean app. This is the mini golf. The cool thing about the mini golf here is that you do not need a reservation and it is complimentary. It is 100% included in your cruise fare. If we go up the stairs here, we're gonna go right into Thrill Island. This is a category six water park. It is the biggest one at sea. Cruisers can scale new heights and reach top speeds. Some of the water slides are a little bit different than others. There are more relaxing slides and then there are more aggressive slides. In all, they are all pretty quick, but some, for example, are gonna drop right out from underneath you. Let's take a look at some of the family slides. This right here is Storm Surge. You jump on a raft and it's gonna take you down and then up a bowl and then back down again. It's not that aggressive. It is a little scary, but all in all, it's a lot of fun. Hurricane Hunter is also another slide that you will be utilizing a raft. It's a little bit less aggressive than Storm Surge. Right around the corner is pressure drop. There's going to be a slight drop, not a full drop, just a slight drop, and then you're gonna come out the other side. Keep in mind that there are height requirements for each of the slides. Now you'll notice that the area is humongous. It is actually 17,000 square feet. Let's take a look at a couple of the drop slides. These are what I like to call the scary slides because that floor is just gonna open up and you're gonna drop right down to the bottom. So let's take a look at Frightening Bolt. It's the drop slide. It's probably the most exciting slide out of all of them. If you're brave enough, you just jump in. It's gonna count down. The floor is gonna drop right from underneath you and you are going to fall right in front of Frightening Bolt is Storm Chaser. Just jump on that mat and head on in. Folks, listen, these slides are for adults as well as children because I see adults having more fun than the kids. Let's take a look at the Flow Rider. Here you can either bodyboard or surf. Surfing is not as hard as it looks, so make sure you try it out. Don't waste your time bodyboarding. Go for the gold. And remember, Folks, sign that waiver before you wait in line. That way you don't wait and then get sent back to go sign the waiver. Let's go ahead and head all the way to the back of the ship. We're gonna look at the hideaway. It consists of a couple of areas. This is an adult only area. It's right behind Thrill Island. Here in the hideaway, you're gonna find a pool with comfortable seating. Because what I recommend is that on a sea day, if you're an adult and you're not with kids, come to this pool, put your towel out and just get ready to chill and enjoy the views throughout the entire day. Right next to the pool up the stairs are a couple of hot tubs. These hot tubs are off the back of the ship, so they have really cool views off the side. 
One thing I really like about this area is that there are plenty of loungers. You don't have to sit at the pool. Right behind the hot tubs are plenty of chairs. There are chairs all the way at the front and there are chairs right over here. Let's take a look at the hideaway bar. To get here, you're gonna have to walk through the pool area. The hideaway bar is also off the back of the ship. Let's take a look. If you look down, you can see the flow rider, hideaway bar, hideaway pool, the water slides, the mini golf, and the basketball court. So we're gonna head up to deck 17. We're gonna go back to Chill Island. This is cloud 17. It consists of a pool area, the lime and coconut bar, and plenty of places to sit down and relax. Right in front of the pool area is the lime and coconut bar. So that's convenient. So you can just grab a drink, head on over to the pool. It's an infinity pool, so it has really cool views over the side. Now, up here on deck 17, you're also going to find the outside smoking area, which is completely separate from the rest of the ship. If you are booked in a suite, you can dine in the coastal kitchen. If you are not, then you don't even have to worry about this restaurant. It is only for suite guests. The restaurant spans two decks, but is what is really neat about it is that it has a perfect view of the Aqua Dome. When we dined here, we actually had a chance to see part of the show. Now there is a bar, the restaurant spans two decks, and the menu changes every single night. The cool thing is that if you're booked in a suite, you're just gonna dine here most likely every night unless you're booked in specialty. Let's head on into the Grove. This is also an exclusive area for suite guests, which they love. When you first walk in, you're gonna find a bar and a buffet area. Also, there is a pool area and deck chairs where you can relax and lie in the sun. You're also gonna find really cool hanging chairs plenty of cabanas and whirlpools. A lot of people here like the views not only off the side of the ship, but you can also look down into Chill Island, which is really neat when the DJs and the live music is going on. Let's go ahead and head on into the spa. When you first walk in, to the right is the Vitality Cafe. Order yourself a delicious, healthy smoothie. It's perfect after a good night of drinking or if you just like to stay healthy. Over here is the spa. It has a full meta spa and spa services. Here's a tip. On a port day, if you're not going to get off the ship, they offer excellent deals. Ladies, if you'd like to get your hair done, you can head on into the salon. My recommendation is that you make an appointment. Gentlemen, there is also a barber shop if you need to get a beard trim or a haircut. A lot of times when you're heading on a cruise, you're really busy, you're working, and you just don't have time to get these things done, you can do it right here on the ship. Let's preview Deck 8. This is Central Park. We're gonna come right out to Chops Grill, then Azumi. After that is Trellis Bar, then Park Cafe. After that is The Jazz Club. Out here is Surfside. You're gonna find the arcade, the carousel, Surfside Bites, Pier 7, and Splash Away Bay. Let's take a look at Empire Supper Club. It's at the head of Central Park. It features an extravagant eight course experience with a taste of old New York. The awesome thing about it is that while you enjoy your meal, you're gonna be able to listen to a swanky three piece band. This is definitely an experience you're gonna wanna go to. Let's go past this sculpture and head on into Central Park. When you go into Central Park, keep in mind that all these plants and trees are real. This Central Park is lusher and livelier than ever before. The signature open air neighborhood has more ways to dine, drink, and be entertained with live music at spots like Lou's Jazz Blues and the Supper Club, which offers the eight course meal. Here in Central Park, you're gonna find a few different dining venues. There is specialty and complimentary. Because what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna take a look at one of the specialty options. This right here is Chop's Grill. It is the steakhouse. Across the way from Chop's Grill is Izumi. This is 
the Japanese restaurant. It consists of a couple of different areas. Right here are the abachi grills where the chef will cook the food right in front of you. There is also a dining area and a sushi bar. Let's say you're in your cabin, you want some quick sushi, you can come right up to this window and get sushi to go and take it right back to your cabin. Let's head on more into Central Park. Just take a look at all of the flora and fauna. And if you really want to enjoy it, you can grab a drink over here at Trellis Bar. It's right here in the center of Central Park and is a perfect place if you want to enjoy the entertainment here. You can regularly listen to live music while you're hanging out here. Now, if you want a glass of champagne, head on over to Bubbles. It's another really cool window where you can grab a glass of champagne to go. We've seen a couple of specialty restaurants here in Central Park. Let's take a look at a complimentary one. This is Park Cafe, is what a lot of people don't know about Park Cafe is that it is open for breakfast as well as lunch and dinner. Here in Park Cafe, enjoy delicious soups, salads, and sandwiches. You can also enjoy a coffee at the beverage station. And if you want, you can sit here outside at Central Park and enjoy the ambient. Let's head on into Lou's Jazz Club. When you come into Lou's, if you just want to grab a drink, you can head on over to the bar. But if you enjoy jazz, then you're going to want to wait for the show to begin. And the cool thing is, is that you can enjoy it every night. At Lou's, you can also sit out here in Central Park if you like. There are stores here in Central Park. And keep in mind that when you're at sea, they're duty free. Let's head on into Surfside. Surfside is all the way here at the back of the ship. When you think of Surfside, just think of a place where families and kids can play together. Grown-ups can soak up ocean views at Water's Edge Pool while keeping an eye on the kids at Splash Away Bay or Baby Bay. Let's take a look at Surfside Eatery. When you think of this buffet, think they had families in mind. So there are going to be food items for adults and kids. The excellent thing about Surfside Eatery is that parents, you can bring your kids in here and they are not gonna complain. Right over here is the arcade. Now, these games do not accept coins. You're gonna need your key card. When you do your online check-in, and you're gonna do that with us and Royal Caribbean, it doesn't matter who you book with, you're gonna do it either way. Make sure that you turn your kid's key card on or off depending on how much you think they're going to spend. Right next to Sprinkles, the unlimited soft serve is Surfside Bites. Enjoy hamburgers, hot dogs, and delicious desserts. Over here is Pier 7, which offers an all-day brunch, appetizers, and delicious bites. This right here is Lemon Post. Cool thing about this is that they had adults and children in mind, so Parents, you can get a daiquiri, and kids, you can get that delicious virgin smoothie that you love. Here at the back is Splash Away Bay, which has a pool at the back of the ship. It is the only kids pool that I know of that has beautiful views like this. Let's preview deck six. Behind me is the fitness center. Right here is the attic and dueling pianos. Then Giovanni's. After that is Schooner Bar. Then the Art Gallery. Through here is Playmakers. And then all the way down at the end is Absolute Zero. We're gonna start off at the front of the ship. This is the Fitness Center. Here you can do any type of exercise that you're used to. You can get into a yoga class, a spin class. They also offer other types of health courses that you can enjoy. Here's an idea. When you do your online check-in, I want you to download the app and then you can already start seeing what the ship has and what you can enjoy. For example, if you want to get into a yoga class, you can go ahead and reserve that. My advice is, is that on the first day of the cruise, come on into the gym and see exactly what they have to offer, like the jogging track on deck five. Let's go back to deck six, take a look at the attic. This is the comedy club. Royal Caribbean has some of the best live comedians. Now on the Oasis class, you may have been to the attic before and it doubled as a comedy club and a nightclub. This one doesn't, it's just a comedy club. Over here is Dueling Pianos, where two piano players are going to entertain you at least two times per night. If you want to enjoy Dueling Pianos, 
Another recommendation is get here early because it is a very popular show. Let's take a look at Giovanni's. This is the Italian restaurant. Is what's amazing about Giovanni's is that not only do they make their own pasta, but they have some of the best homemade pizza. Another cool thing about Giovanni's is that it has really good views of the promenade if you want to sit over here at the bar. Take a look at this. This right here is the pearl and you have a perfect view of it right here from Giovanni's. Let's go ahead and head on into Schooner Bar. This is where you can enjoy a nice relaxing drink while you enjoy the music of a live piano player. Schooner Bar is extremely close to the main dining venue. So if you're going to be dining over there, it is an excellent spot to meet to have a before or after dinner drink. We use it as a meetup place many times throughout the cruise. Right across the way is Boleros. This is the Latin nightclub. Now, a lot of times if you're on the promenade and you hear a lot of loud music and it's after nine or 10 o'clock, it's probably coming from Boleros. Let's take a look at the kids areas. This is Adventure Ocean. Adventure Ocean consists of a couple of different age groups. A tip is, is that on the first day of the cruise, you're going to want to come in and sign them up. At that time, they'll give you all the information that you're going to need. For example, if you have a junior from three to five years old, you're going to want to come on in, get their wristband and get them ready to go. Folks, they also have babysitting for babies from six months to 36 months. You're going to want to come in on the first day and talk to who's ever taking care of your baby. That way, when you actually do leave your child here, you're going to be more relaxed and you're going to be confident that your child's going to be taken care of. Right here is the theater and over here is the hangout. You'll see that the area is very spacious and has screens, video games. They offer scavenger hunts and karaoke. You can even get into a dance class and enjoy many other different types of activities. Kids that come into the areas love it and they never want to leave. So if your child's a little bit apprehensive about coming in and doesn't want to sign up, make them do it. This area is not set up at the moment, but just imagine it full of kids participating in many different activities. And hey, the Royal Caribbean staff know how to keep them busy and entertained. One of my kids' favorite spots when they were little were the workshops, because here they're always creating something new. Let's head on through the art gallery. All these artworks are for sale. They're gonna auction some of them off. The cool thing is, is that if you like one, you can take it home with you. So let's head on through the art gallery. We're gonna go right into Playmakers Sports Bar. Here you can enjoy all different types of sporting events. There are TVs pretty much everywhere. So no matter where you sit or stand, you're going to be able to watch the game. If there is an extremely popular game going on, then make sure you get a seat at the bar. That is the best spot. If you'd like, come on into the owner's box, especially if you have a family check it out is what we found is that when there were really popular games happening it was just like your favorite sports bar back home an electric lively atmosphere with everybody hooting and hollering let's take a look at the social this is for kids from 13 to 17 it's for the teenagers now folks if you have a child that is 12 and another one that is 13 unfortunately the 12 year old will not be able to come in here and there are no exceptions so if the 12 year old and the 13 year old are really good buddies then you might want to rethink about having the 13 year old come on in so the four signature stages here on the icon are air ice water and theater right now we're going to take a look at the ice this is absolute zero this is where you're going to watch amazing ice shows and it is another venue that does fill up so that same old tip that i gave you at the aqua dome i'm going to give you here make sure you show up a half an hour early you're not going to want to miss this show and if you do watch it you want to be right at the front row 
That is the best tip that I can give you. Another tip is that if you want to book this ship, make sure you book it right away. I can guarantee you that the prices are going to go up. Now, if you book with us and the prices go down and it's before final payment, guess what? We can get you the better price. So the best tip that I can give you is pick up the phone, give us a call and book right now. I'm going to give you a quick preview of Deck 5. We're going to come right out of the theater. Over to the left is Spotlight Karaoke. To the right is Sorrento's. Then we're going to go through some shops and right over here is Starbucks. To the right is The Pearl then guest services right after that is next cruise and all the way at the back is the main dining room let's take a look at the royal theater by luck when we walked in we caught a show and we got a little bit on video for you the royal theater it spans a couple of decks and there are many things that can take place here. Not only amazing musicals, but they also use it for conferences and meetups for excursions. For example, if you book an excursion after you did your online check-in and you're gonna be doing the excursion with Royal Caribbean and the meetup is at 7 a.m., most likely it's gonna be right here in the theater. Let's take a walk through the shops we are now on the promenade. This is the most popular place on the ship. Now keep in mind that these shops do offer discounted rates sometimes and they also will offer duty-free shopping. On the promenade, a favorite spot, especially late at night, is Sorrento's. After a good night of partying at the music hall, this is an excellent place to come on in and grab yourself a few pieces of pizza before you head on to bed. Right across the hall from Sorrento's is Spotlight Karaoke. If you enjoy karaoke, make sure you get a seat up front. It's a lot of fun watching the cruisers sing. Remember folks, everyone's off for a week just like you. So everyone is out to have a blast. Make sure you get your name on the list, especially if you want to sing a couple of times. Let's head back on the promenade. We're going to head more toward the middle. We're going to go past a few more shops. Here's another tip. Folks, if you want to buy some things on board, wait for a sea day, especially toward the end of the cruise. They start to have all the sales and the prices come down a little bit. Take a look at this. Behind the Pearl is the Shore Excursion's desk and Focus. So if you have any questions about your Shore Excursion, you can head on over here. And if you want to see the pictures that the photographers took of you while you were on board, you can check those out right here as well. The Pearl is right here in the middle of the ship. It's kind of like what I like to call the heart of the ship because everyone is gonna congregate here, take photos, walk up and down the stairs. And when you walk up the stairs, you're gonna head right up to deck six. Now is what I really like about this ship is that all the decks are easily accessible. A good example is the staircase right here at the Pearl. There are also staircases on either side of the promenade. So if you wanna head up to Giovanni's or Schooner Bar, it's just effortless. Now, a lot of activities take place here on the promenade. For example, the first night of the cruise is the balloon drop, and it is a lot of fun. It's gonna happen at midnight, so hopefully you're ready for the action when it takes place. As soon as the balloons drop, everyone's gonna hit them and knock them all around. Remember, this is the first day of their vacation, so they're out for a good time. Now, if we go up the staircase, up the Pearl, we're gonna go right into the Pearl Cafe. Enjoy a wide variety of treats here from sandwiches, croissants, to cookies, cakes, and cupcakes. Also, keep in mind that you can order a specialty coffee here, and it's included in your premium beverage package. In front of Pearl Cafe is a staircase that will lead you right to Central Park, which as I was saying before, everything is easily accessible. The Pearl Cafe is open late at night. As a matter of fact, it's open 24 seven, which is excellent because in many cruise ships, the food venues close. Look down there, this is Starbucks. For Starbucks, there is an additional charge. If you have a premium package, go up to Pearl Cafe, it's included. This is 1400 Lobby Bar. 
It's a popular meetup spot and it usually is pretty active because it's right here in the center of the promenade. There is a nice lobby all around the bar, but another cool aspect of this area is that you can go on the deck out here and it is completely open and not a lot of people know about it so it's a nice spot for families to get together and enjoy each other's company down there is point and feather this is the english pub we found that we enjoyed this venue a lot and it's because there was a very good singer on board and he was funny and he just sang all those songs that we wanted to hear as a matter of fact when he was leaving everyone was asking for an encore over here is Next Cruise. While you're on board, if you book a cruise with them, they will give you an incentive. And if you do, make sure you give us a call right when you get back. We can take over that booking and give you that amazing saving. Across the way is Guest Services. If you have any questions, head on over here. They are ready to help you out with whatever you need. This is Point Merchants. Now, you can buy alcohol while you're on board, but here's the thing. You're not going to be able to have it delivered to your room until the last night of the cruise. But sometimes they might deliver it a little early, so huh, you can take a little sip before you get off. Over here is the main dining room. The main dining room spans a three deck, and there is either an early or a late dining, or you can do my time dining. That's normally what I like to do. Now, if you do an early or a late dining, then you're supposed to show up at that time and most likely depending on the size of your party you may be seated with other parties keep in mind that the main dining room is open for breakfast lunch and dinner when you're relaxing on a sea day i recommend that you come on in here for breakfast if you wake up early enough on port days you head right to the buffet and if you're in a hurry and don't feel like waiting at all, then go to Park Cafe or you can head on over to the Pearl Cafe. Let's head on over to the casino. The cool thing about this ship is that when you want to go down to the casino, you take an escalator. Right here is the casino bar. It's right here in the middle. The bar is such an excellent spot to hang out and have a drink. There's action happening all throughout the entire area. Over here is where you're going to find all of the slots. There are plenty of slots, card games. You can play poker. They also offer many different types of tournaments. You can play blackjack, roulette. Here's the thing, folks. They are not open on port days. So if you're not going to get off the ship, just keep in mind that the casino is going to be closed. When you're hanging out in the casino, you are eventually going to go into the music hall because they are connected. This is an extremely popular venue. Remember before when I said that the attic on the Oasis class ship doubles as the club? Well, this is the club on the icon. Not only is it the club, but is uh, not only is it the club, but it's one of my favorite venues. You can enjoy rock bands, shows, DJs, here's how it's gonna work. In the earlier evening, you're gonna enjoy live bands. Then later on in the evening, a DJ will come in and the dance party is gonna begin. Thank you for joining me on the tour. Remember, my name is Jason. I hope you enjoyed it. To get the best rate guaranteed, give me a call. My number is on the screen. Have a blessed day.